Uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm delighted to be joined by the uh, Education Committee of the General Assembly that has taken a break, I understand, to uh, uh, join us for this. So thank you all, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm delighted to be uh, joined by Fred Humphreys, Corporate Vice President of Microsoft, as well as uh, Commissioner Johnny Key of uh, our Commissioner of Education. And as you know, uh, I've had an emphasis upon computer science in our Arkansas schools. Uh, it's an emphasis that has brought us national success and recognition, but more importantly, it has impacted the lives of students across this state. And what's important to me is that we keep up the momentum. You keep up the momentum as a leader in computer science education by keeping up the energy among our students, our teachers, administrators, and the private sector as well. And so this partnership that we are announcing today with Microsoft, uh, which will, will bring in greater resources, private sector resources, to our schools, that will allow more partnerships, expand those partnerships, and to increase the energy that we have already in Arkansas for computer science education. As I have conducted my second tour across Arkansas schools, uh, my computer coding tour, I've recognized that some schools have a lot of energy and some schools need more energy. And usually the additional energy would come from a private sector partner who brings greater expertise, practical world experience in what coding means in the real world. And that's what Microsoft offers in this partnership that we're going to expand and announce today. I'm particularly excited about uh, not just their partnership that they will have with schools, but also the entrepreneurial community. And the next phase of what we need to do in Arkansas is to increase that entrepreneurial community that will create those jobs and that path for the students when they get out of school with that coding background. And so we'll be signing an MOU shortly. Uh, I want to recognize Fred Humphreys again as I introduce the Corporate Vice President of, uh, of Microsoft. And we just had an incredible meeting talking about how this is going to be implemented. Fred, if you would come and uh, talk about it some more. Good afternoon, Governor. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner, thank you. Uh, it's great to be here in, in Arkansas. Uh, as the governor had stated, uh, Governor Hutchinson has, has been undoubtedly uh, a leader when it comes to computer science and making computer science count here in the state of Arkansas. And what we're really talking about when we're talking about this partnership, this digital alliance, we're talking about workforce skills. And we're talking about workforce skills for all of Arkansas. We're talking about a program where it, will, it will not just be about Little Rock, but it'll be about Northwest. It'll be about the Southwest part of the state. It'll be about the rural and the urban and creating opportunities to learn. We'll have programs such as uh, DigiCamp where you get exposed to, uh, to engineers and computer scientists about what it takes to, to be a, a computer science. We'll have an uh, offering called BizSpark to work with entrepreneurs to get them exposed to different type of business uh, software. There, there will also be a, a program called Youth Spark Live, which is where the goal is, is to convene students and have students hear from other students so why they're interested in computer science. The whole goal is, is to expose. And Arkansas is leading on that by taking a step that one might say is a baby step, but it's an important step of building a foundation of making sure the young children of Arkansas are exposed to computer science and STEM and the digital skills of the future so that the state can continue to prosper and have a, you know, when it comes to agriculture, people might not think about it, but there's sensors that are being used. So from a technology perspective, having uh, coding and, and technology and digital literacy helps to expose you to prepare for the 21st century workforce skills that one needs uh, today. So I just want to say that I'm really here to applaud, uh, Microsoft's here to applaud uh, the governor's leadership uh, in an area that sometimes people say, well, oh, what is this computer science? What can it do? It really is about meeting the needs of the future to be leaders, to be able to continue to have jobs and, and uh, meet the needs of the workforce skills of the future. 
So thank you, Governor. Uh, Microsoft looks forward to strengthening the partnership. And if I could just tell one quick story that I was taken. So, because I've had the opportunity to see the governor at work making his pitch on computer science, but he had, and it's you know, always special, he had uh, Ella Beth, his, his granddaughter, who at 12 did an app. And that's kind of today's kids, because if you can ask my kid to do something, they could probably come up with a technology solution. I, I saw that in his, in his granddaughter faster than I could. If Microsoft hired me for my tech skills, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, uh, um, but that's what it's all about, is getting that exposure uh, to, to your grandkids or your kids or today's, today's youth. So I could go on and on, but thank you, and it's, uh, we look forward uh, to this uh, MOU. And I want to invite Commissioner Key. I also want to recognize Dr. Therese Childers, who's really been a leader through the career education side of uh, the computer science in Arkansas and a great partner with us and will continue to be so. Uh, Commissioner Key, I know you'll be involved in implementing this, so you have the microphone. Thank you, Governor. And first of all, thank you for your vision uh, for computer science and computer coding in the state of Arkansas. And what does that really mean and what does this MOU mean? It means more opportunities. And uh, carrying forward the momentum that the governor talked about a few moments ago is critical. Uh, we want young people to see the opportunity that is before them. We want young people to create the opportunities of the future. This is more than just creating a workforce. Students with workforce skills, it goes well beyond that. It's about preparing our students to be the creators, the innovators, the entrepreneurs of the future, because it is about the future of the state of Arkansas. They will be a critical part of that. I go from all over the state. I've been to Prescott, El Dorado, North Arkansas, Central Arkansas, you name it. When I've talked to students, they are excited about computer coding. And now they're gonna have more opportunities through this MOU, through this partnership, to have more resources. Teachers will have more resources. It's a very exciting day in Arkansas. I want to thank Microsoft. I want to thank the governor for his leadership. We look forward to rolling this out and uh, showing even more students what is possible. Thank you. So with that, we'll go to the uh, peace table at Versailles uh, <laughs> and sign the World Peace Agreement. <laughs> So, um, don't have right offhand the number of states we've done. This uh, no, we have not done this in every state in, in the nation. It's as a result of the governor's leadership and as we've looked at where there's a great opportunity, is why we selected Arkansas um, as a result of what he's doing here. Uh, we've done this in some cities uh, um, as well. So. so, is this something you guys do out of goodness of your heart or is there some? Is the remuneration, you guys are kind of about this. This, uh, this, this is about making an investment in people and, and opportunity when it comes to, if it's, uh, as the commissioner was saying, is it about creating the next innovator, uh, which is going to create uh, new businesses, new jobs. This is also about workforce skills. Microsoft's mission is to empower every person and organization on the, on the planet to achieve more. This is about our company values and trying to make a difference uh, in the state that has shown and shown leadership on wanting to uh, make sure that uh, opportunities are there for kids. So as a result of that, that's why, we're, that's why we've decided uh, to invest uh, time, resources, and people uh, in, in this state. So 
What state, is that? So the state doesn't have to make any payment as a part of this MOU? No, that's no. correct. There's not a financial obligation. It's a commitment of Microsoft to provide uh, their programs and resources to our schools, as well as to hold, for example, uh, an entrepreneurial workshop for the business side as well. And so those are the commitments that Microsoft has made. Uh, the commitment from the state of Arkansas is not to fund any Microsoft programs, but we do make, through the Commissioner of Education, some staff support available uh, to help pull these uh, events together. And so there's not any financial commitment contract. Uh, it is simply a partnership, and that's the basis of the MOU. And in some of those communities where you've been, you said you, uh, you're going to provide resources. Give us an example of some of those resources. That so, 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 so for example, uh, one of the things we'll have is these DigiCamps, right? We, we will work with companies here as well as provide Microsoft employees right, to go into schools who are computer scientists. And, and we make sure that there's diversity there. We'll have women uh, in particular to go in to be able to talk to the students. I pursued computer science. I am today uh, a computer scientist. I am a coder. We also have this program called uh, Technology Education and Literacy uh, in the Schools called TEALS. It's a, part, it's a program that we will uh, embark upon here in, in the state. We've done that, for example, in the state of Rhode Island where we will reach out to some of the companies here and, and bring people in to, to teach the teacher, right, how to teach computer science. One of the challenges you have is sometimes people don't have the skill set to, to, to teach it in the classroom. So those are the type of uh, uh, resources and, and commitments that we make uh, as far as being able to help out. And so back to the question that you raised, one of the things that's been very important to us, uh, we're a company that's a very diverse company. We actually uh, have a lot of people who are on H-1Bs, and one of the things that we've also wanted to make sure that we're doing, great talent, and we recruit talent from all over the world, but we want to make sure that we're educating the folks here, that we can, uh, as far as the talent, and meet the pipeline needs, what are challenging uh, for, the, for the different companies, because there's a significant number of jobs um, that are open at Microsoft, Apple, Google, Facebook, Walmart, I would even uh, venture to say when it comes to technology, but the skill set's not there. And so what do we want to do? We want to invest here and in states that where they've shown leadership. It was, I wasn't uh, just, it wasn't hype. It was a big deal to make computer science count as a part of the core requirement of all of the state of Arkansas. When that took place, that got our attention and said, hey, this is a place we need to look to potentially invest in. It's, it doesn't just like a financial commitment, it's a people, it's a people commitment. What did that equate to? I don't know. I mean, you have these agreements in a dozen states, 25, to so, First state. Zero. This, this is a landmark agreement. Zero. First. We're just kind of learning to hold these news conferences in every state. Nope. Okay. So there's, you don't know yet what the, what the cost would be? No, I don't know what the, the, the Microsoft cost to exactly. I can't quantify the, what it will result in the number of people that will be working to uh, help to implement and execute on the agreement. Because it's a people cost. It, it, it's an investment of people uh, to partner with the schools uh, and with our Department of Education to further explore, expand, computer science in our schools. And part of that is the private sector side. And some of the initiatives, as you look at the MOU, uh, is to host Digi Girls in Arkansas for high school girls. It's uh, to host them in coming uh, to expand the opportunity for female students and encourage them in computer science education. I was excited about a Youth Spark Live event for Arkansas students grades 7 through 12, and the goal that's recited is 1,000 uh, that would participate in this. And so a number of different ones, and as mentioned, the Teals Partnership, which particularly is of interest to me because it pairs computer science professionals from across the industry with classroom educators to team teach computer science. 
none of this costs money other than human resources. And uh, I've met with some of the lead uh, for Microsoft on this initiative, and this is where uh, Commissioner Key will have some uh, of his staff that will be devoted to make sure that these events are partnered with and can accomplish. And so this is a typical MOU that doesn't have a dollar value because it's a partnership of human resources to enhance the opportunity of computer science. We are delighted that we're the first state to have this MOU uh, with Microsoft. Governor, when do you hope to uh, begin implementing this in, uh, in Arkansas? Uh, uh. Today. Uh, Mr. Humphreys? Yes. Uh, last year, Microsoft, in addition with a lot of other tech companies, signed a letter from the Human Rights Campaign saying that uh, so-called religious freedom laws would stifle investment in economic opportunities in states like Arkansas. So how do you place this investment in that context? You have a lot of different factors that you look at as you're making different investments, and clearly, uh, uh, in, in this particular case, we're making an investment in the people, in the students, in the youth uh, in Arkansas because of the leadership here. So there's a lot of different things that you process, uh, uh, different aspects um, there. And I'd separate that out. Consideration at all or not? No, it was not a factor. All right. Uh, we'll be available. Thank you very much uh, for uh, joining us today. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Appreciate it.